So now let's analyze this algorithm. We know the complexity of the first phase, this reduce phase, already. We know that it has log n steps as a function of the input count n and order of n operations. So actually we have, if we have n elements, we're going to have n minus 1 additions. And the analysis for the downsweep phase is exactly the same as the analysis for the reduce phase because the communication pattern here is exactly the same except mirror imaged as the communication pattern here. So we know that downsweep also has log n steps and a linear amount of work. This is great. We've now reached the same work efficiency as the serial implementation. Note, however, that it has more steps than the Hillis and Steele formulation. Recall that the Hillis and Steele formulation had log n steps and the Blelick formulation, this reduced downsweep method, has two log n steps. But the advantage of this Blelick implementation is less work overall. Recall, again, that the Hillis and Steele scan had O of n log n work, whereas the Blelick scan has linear amount of work with respect to the input. Now, which is faster? That's a good question. To some extent, it's dependent on the particular GPU, the problem size, the particular optimizations that you choose during the implementation. But to give you a little bit of intuition as to how you might think about the problem of choosing between two different formulations of the same algorithm, one of which has superior work efficiency, like Blelick scan, one of which has superior step efficiency, like Hillis and Steele scan.